Throughout the years, the focus of the coalition changed. In 1997, the, the focus shift from being that of, of a community need to more of what's happening with um, the, the youth in our community and how, how can we help the youth in our community. So then in 1999, we received some data from the state of Iowa that showed that tobacco was an issue in our community. And so we were able to take that data and focus on um, youth tobacco use and how can we make a difference in, in the youth tobacco use. A few years ago, um, some youth decided that the big problem in Van Buren County was adults smoking around youth. Um, they thought that tobacco-free parks like the baseball diamonds, softball diamonds, the recreational parks could be tobacco-free. They went to each of the city councils and they decided to make presentations, tell the city council why they wanted tobacco-free parks, and eventually the city councils agreed and, and all of our parks were tobacco-free. The Youth Coalition actually paid a big part in the Smoke-Free Air Act. Um, a lot of our youth went to businesses, restaurants, places like that, and asked them to become smoke-free. Um, a lot of the businesses did become smoke-free before the Smoke-Free Air Act was enacted, so we are really proud of that. The coalition evolved again throughout the years in 2005, um, shifting their focus more to one of alcohol use, um, because again, the survey data from the state of Iowa had shown that the youth in our county were using alcohol, and at an alarming rate, and it was something that our community really wanted to, to do something about. We try to go out and target known events where there might be alcohol use among our juvenile population. We have some local street dances, fairs, and maybe high school events such as prom. Uh, our reserve deputies have also been active with some of those, those activities. Uh, at our football games, we'll put reserve deputies in the parking lot doing foot patrol, looking for possible uh, students in the parking lot drinking. We're hearing from our juvenile population that alcohol is harder for them to get. They're aware that they need to be of age um, because the, the merchants are checking and our department is out there enforcing as well. I think through the interaction we've had in providing resources, um, providing the trainings, the visits that I've done, the materials I've shared with them, I feel like they've started to see us now as a resource for their business that they can use to, to address these issues and to be a partner with us in addressing alcohol use with our youth.